Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to be switching it up a little bit and I'm going to be doing something really fun. Last night I was just playing with makeup later in the evening and I recreated one of these looks from Doja Cat. I'll put it up on screen here so you can see. I just really love her approach to makeup. She does a lot of her own looks, which is very admirable, and I love her approach to makeup. It's very different from things I would think of doing. I did this look on one of my eyes last night, and I was like, wow, I really want to film this. I think it's fun technical-wise, and it's so different from my usual, and I'd love to do more of these kind of videos this year. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me, and let's get to it. I forgot to mention in the intro that I'm not going to be using anything new. I love doing these types of videos because it makes me look at my collection with like a different set of eyes. I get more creative. Um, so I'm just going to be using a bunch of things that I haven't used in a really long time. I pulled out all of my Hydra liners, some from Suva Beauty as well as the Norvina Hydra liners. So I'm first going to mix up the lavender color and I'm going to scoop some of these two shades out from the Norvina stack, the purple and of course the white here. Where's my palette? Need to find, oh, that that is a miracle. I have never found this thing so fast in my life. I usually sit there for like 10 minutes trying to find this skinny little palette knife, but I'm gonna scoop out a bunch of this white and a little bit of this purple. Actually, before I start adding water and getting the right consistency as well as shade. I'm going to prime my lids first, that's important. And I've been using the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. Lately it's been working really well on my eyelids. And I really enjoy how it kind of corrects my eyelids. I'm gonna just slap it on with my finger. I like applying my eye primers with my finger. I feel like I always get the best result that way. I don't like putting it on with a damp sponge or a brush. I feel like a brush just takes away too much and a sponge soaks it all up and adds moisture where you don't really want moisture. And now actually I'm gonna make my life a lot easier today and I'm actually going to sketch out the general shape with this lavender pencil from Pacifica. It is the shade, hold on, D13. So it doesn't go on the lower lash line which is different for me and my tastes. So it's just going to go straight out from my outer corner and it's going to go a lot further out than I'm used to. She does have straighter brows than me. They kind of angle up like um, Spock. And it's not like a super straight line. It kind of swoops. She has a lot of lid space, so I'm just going to kind of accommodate it for my specific eye shape. And if you don't have a purple liner, it's okay because we're gonna be covering this anyways. You can use a white eyeliner. That's what we used to do in makeup school. The thing that's kind of annoying while working with Hydra liners is that it's hard to get a right consistency. And once you get that right consistency, you only have a few seconds to work with it before it starts thickening up and drying out. So you just have to be a little bit quicker while working with them. I have this little thing of water. It's actually a cap for a Wet n Wild setting spray. <laughs> it's the only little cup I can find around here. I didn't want to go downstairs. So here's my little palette. I have a little bit of the purple and a lot more of the white. I just dampened this little brush. This is a Moda concealer brush. Ooh, I should have set up like another camera angle or something, but I'm going to start adding some purple to the white little dot I have here. I'm just gonna do that until I get a nice lavender color. And you have to remember that these always look lighter when they're wet, because once they set, they're a bit darker. Hers is almost like a bluey lavender, but I'm just gonna work with what I have here. I'm still working with that Moda concealer brush. I'm just gonna fill in that shape we made. Just gonna try to add a second layer. Just gonna let that dry. Don't wanna open my eyes and let it crease or anything. So now I'm going to be using just this purple by itself. I'm just gonna work right out of the little tin here. Um, I'm going to use this tiny brush from BH Cosmetics. It's a liner brush, it's just a little teeny guy. 
going to dampen it Oop. now we're going to outline the entire thing this is where i forget to breathe and i almost pass out okay here we go One thing I'm noticing, I think while I layer this on top of this eyeliner, it's kind of creating that effect when you try to write on plastic with a marker, it kind of beads up again. Um, I experienced that on here, but I'm trying my best to stop that. That sounded super unconfident. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it. There we go. Just gonna try to re-dampen my dry paint here. Working with these things is kind of a piss off but it's also really, really fun because it feels like you're actually painting your face with like watercolors or something. I'm going to attempt to clean up the skipping here. Nice, but I think that's good for a moment. While I let that kind of dry down, I'm going to do the same with the blue. I have this blue Pacifica one. It should be fine. It's fine, it's fine. This is the shade D11. Now this one kind of goes the opposite direction from here, but it goes straight out from her outer corner. And it goes straight, and then right at the end, it kind of points down. Just the slightest bit, mine is a little bit too much. Cool. And then for the top part, it kind of comes in there, like right on the edge and it follows straight. Oh, I don't have enough lid space like Dongja. I'm just gonna start in the inner corner. It goes like a little half moon right in here, which I don't put makeup in there often. This little nook. Okay, that's better. I feel like I could have just filled it in with this blue pencil, but it's not like the right blue, so I'm not going to do that. I also want to mix more colors. Now to mix up the blue, I'm going to be taking this Suva Beauty Hydra Liner in the shade Tracksuit, and I'm going to mix it with the Norvina White that I still have on my palette here. I'm just gonna start making a paste out of the Suva Beauty one here so I can add it to my palette. So I'm just gonna rub, 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 and add a bit of water until I'm happy with the consistency. And then I'm going to add that to the white here. Oh, that's a nice color. I feel like that is going to be very similar to what she has. Like a nice sky blue. How did a wren hair get in here? And I'm applying that with this e.l.f. small precision brush. I don't know if I like this brush. I don't think this brush is precise enough to get into that part, but maybe right here. I have this Sigma winged liner brush, which is super, super small. Now I'm grabbing this Smith 253 brush, which is kind of like an arrowhead brush. And I'm going to be taking this Lumi pigment from Sugar Pill. Last night I spilled this all over my legs and all over my beautiful office chair that has kind of like a cushion on the bottom. So every time I sit on it now, it like poofs this beautiful blue pearl everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna take that and I'm pressing this right on top of the lavender. And I originally thought this was just placed in the middle here, but on her other eye, you can see that it's kind of shining from the inner portion. So it's filled in all the way with this blue pearl. I'm going to intensify it with one of my favorite products I have in my collection. I just never use it because it's limited edition and once I run out, I'm never gonna have it again. But it's this Urban Decay Game of Thrones Winterfell Snow eyeliner pencil. It basically is just like a blue shifting pencil with like no base color, but it's so beautiful. I love this thing so much. And I'm actually re-watching Game of Thrones right now, which is a double edge sword because the end is so shit like what do i do once i get to a final to the final season do i not watch it do i make up my own ending once i get there i know i'm going to watch it and get really mad 
I just placed that in my inner corner. She doesn't have an inner corner highlight, but I'm just gonna put it there anyways. But I wanted to pick it out of my collection to use it a little bit um, and to intensify the center here because you don't want to add any moisture with like a setting spray onto your brush to intensify the sugar pill pigment because you're just going to make this all messed up since the eyeliner on the bottom is activated by water. Last thing we have to mix up is the little dot color. And it looks like it's like a really soft clementine kind of orangey color. So I'm going to take a little bit of the white from the Norvina stack once again, just so we can dull out the color, make it more pastel. I'm going to take a tiny bit of this orange right here, which is super, super neon. Just gonna take the tiniest amount. And I'm also going to take some of the yellow from the other one. So I'm mixing the neon yellow and the orange first, just to see if I can get like a neon clementine -y color. It's working out. And then I'm going to bring that into the white. We're getting there, we're getting there. I think that's gonna be good when it's dry. This is a ColourPop E10 brush. I was going to do it with a little tiny brush, but I feel like a circle brush will be better. <laughs> and, there, and there we have it. That's the only place I can put it because I don't have much space. And I'm gonna have to remember to put that one over there once I put on concealer and stuff. And now I'm just going to add a bit of mascara on my top lashes. I might decide to put a light layer on my lower. We'll see how I feel. I don't think she has mascara down there. It's kind of hard to tell. I just did this eye real, I almost said quickly, but I wasn't exactly the quickest. <laughs> but I really, really love seeing this look on both eyes now. Really, really fun. Okay, so now let's move on to the base. I'm just gonna zoom you guys out just a little bit. The thing is with this photo is that she's wearing a mask, so I don't really know what's underneath it there. I assume there's some sort of fake freckles. I feel like that's a staple in Doja's looks. Um, especially the ones that she creates on herself. I think like light soft pinks would be really cute for the blush and maybe just a glossy lip, like a see-through glossy lip would be really nice. Um, but yeah, let's see what I, what I do. I'm going to prime my face with the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. I need to get myself another one of these. Ooh, wow. I feel like the packaging could be better. So much came out. It was an aggressive noise it made. And for my foundation, I'm going to be using my Undone Beauty Matte Tint in the shade 435 Soft Beige Medium. Now, I wore this stuff yesterday and throughout the day I kept forgetting that I was wearing a foundation. My skin looked that good and this looked that natural. Oh, it was really, really nice. And it wore beautifully all day. See that finish? So it's not like completely flat. It's so, so nice. I'm just gonna go over with my beauty blender as always. For my concealer, you know what it is. The Lancome All Over Concealer in the shade 250 Bisque Warm. And I'm going to carefully go in with my sponge. For my powder, I'm going to be using my Dear Dahlia one, the Skin Paradise Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. This one looks so good under the eyes, but I always forget about it for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it looks very similar in finish to the Pat McGrath one. It just has a tint to it. So sometimes it adds just a little bit more coverage down there, makes things look more smooth and perfected. It's growing on me more and more, I feel like. And to add some dimension to my face, I'm going to be using my M Cosmetics So Soft Terra Sculpting Stick because I don't want anything too warm. It doesn't look like she's wearing a lot of bronzer or anything, but I just wanna add some dimension. That was a terrible application on my schnoz. And this is my Moda blending fan brush. <laughs> I 
haven't decided if I want to wear a highlight with this look. I know she might be wearing one. I can see something on the bridge of her nose a little bit. I don't know yet. Um, I'll see how I feel once I add blush, but I pulled out all of my soft pink blushes because I think that'd be the cutest with this look. So I have a variety here. <laughs> I'm gonna swatch them all. So I first have this Dior one that I've decluttered twice, but I always grab it back and put it in my collection, but it got a lot of love this past year. This is the 001 pink blush from Dior. It's like a very cool toned, dusty looking pink. It always looks a little bit ashy on my skin, but I thought it might be fun to layer on top of one of these blushes if I feel like it. I also have this Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette in the shade Rosy, which might work, but I feel like it might be a bit warm. I feel like it's cute, but it might be like too deep, I think, for what I was envisioning. I also have the classic Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Puff, which is always cute. Those three so far. I also have one similar to the Glossier one, but this is the Quo Beauty Featherweight Cream Blush in the shade Halo 35. Let's see what this one looks like. It might be, this one's for sure too peach for what I was imagining, which also would be really cute, like a peach pairing, but I want a, a pink. And the last one I grabbed is this one, which looks really fun. It's the Bikini Martini from Fenty Beauty. I've never used this. I've just swatched it a ton might be the way to go. I feel like that's kind of what I was envisioning the most. This or the Glossier one. I feel like I'm gonna use this one just because it's in my collection, never used it. Why not go for it? And I'm going to apply it with my Quo Beauty angled foundation brush. And I wanna apply it higher up on my cheekbone, kind of like where I would highlight. You know, it might be cute to put like a a pink iridescent highlighter. It's like the one time ever that I feel like in the mood for a pink highlighter, but I feel like it might work. Do I have one though? <laughs> that is way less crazy of a blush color than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a lot more pink than this. Okay. I can get down with this time to time and why not just for fun because I said it and now I wanna try it. I'm gonna put on this Dior pink blush a little bit over top with this Melt 718 brush. I feel like that's not really doing much. Kind of dulled it, kind of softened it out a little bit more. This was a really fun discovery today. Love this pink blush, I feel like I'm going to use that time to time when I want like a cool toned pink. I thought it was going to be unflattering on me for some reason, but here we are, new discovery. So now for highlighter. I wanna see if I have a pink one somewhere. Ooh, I do. It's this melt one that I actually put in my toppers drawer. It's quite glittery, but why not? Do it for planet her. I like using this more so as a topper for the eyes. It's really pretty, but just for fun. I'm gonna add a little tiny, tiny amount. I don't think I'm gonna put any on my nose though, just near the eye look. And over the pink blush, it works. You see, you see what I'm doing here? It's cute. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to forego the freckles. I really like how the base is looking right now. Yeah, I feel like I like the attention over here and on the eyes. So now for my lips, I didn't wanna do anything crazy. So I'm just going to structure my lips a little bit with MAC Oak, which is kind of a contour color for my lip color. And the gloss of choice today, of course, is the Tower 28 Chill gloss. Okay, maybe just a little bit of pink. This is coconut. Almost forgot the two little dots near the inner corner. Hopefully I have enough of this orange concoction. Burp. Oh god, it's so see-through. <laughs> I am feeling very, very pretty in this look. It's so different, but I love it. 
I love it. How fun is this? I don't think I'm gonna add anything on my lower lashes. No mascara. I think this is it. I think this is the look. <laughs> I love how this turned out. What a relaxing afternoon I just had. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot my brows. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my brows real quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, there we are. I was like, something's missing, something's off, but there we are. Here is the look. <laughs> I freaking love this, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It was so fun to dive into my collection this way, and I hope this video inspired you in some way. Play with your makeup, even if you're not going out. It's just such a relaxing, therapeutic thing to do sometimes. Let me know if you'd like to see me recreate something else from Doja, or like anyone, if you see any fun, and different makeup looks, send them to me in my DMs on Instagram and I'll try to do them. But with that, that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of the products I used in today's video in the description down below, so feel free to check that out. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.